So today we're talking about the transfer paper for t-shirts. I prefer to call it heat transfer paper because you will see that uh, we can print a lot more than t-shirts using this paper. Uh, it basically prints uh, a whole range of fabrics and porous surfaces. This is the transfer paper as you get it out of the box. You'll see the little uh, green circles and I'll explain their significance in a minute. But to start with we need to print something on the blank side just by placing it into an ordinary printer. No special inks, no special printers, anything you've got is likely to work and we're going to put an image on it. So here you have the image printed on the blank side of the transfer paper on the opposite side of the green dots and now we're going to very roughly trim the white areas out of it. The white area you can print it on but um, it'll take you a long time and it will show a little bit of, uh, of the film on the shirt so it's better to remove as much as you can. You can be as careful as you want or like me to save time just roughly cut around the image. So now we have our image printed on the uh, correct side we're going to prepare the, in this case, the t-shirt. But remember, we can print pretty much any fabric. I'm going to use this board, which is a flat surface. Any flat surface will do, but I want to protect this nice table and uh, I'm a bit worried about whether it will take the heat if we iron on it directly. So I'm using just a, a, a blue board, but pretty much any flat heat resistant surface will do. I'm going to actually line, this is not the t-shirt we're going to print, this is just a little liner uh, to give it a little bit of softness and give and this is the t-shirt that we're going to print on. Remember, although we call it t-shirt transfer paper, it will print any fabric. So you can print bags, you can print aprons, pillowcases and we'll show you some examples later. This iron uh, has been uh, working for about uh, heating up for about uh, two minutes at maximum temperature. I'm not using steam and uh, being an iron with indentations on the back I've got to make sure that uh, I keep moving it because some of the areas will not give pressure. We place the image face down. It has been printed in mirror mode incidentally. Um, when we print white t-shirts we print the paper onto with mirror mode. We place it face down and start ironing. These green spots are thermal indicators. They will turn brown once the image has been ironed sufficiently. You notice that I'm moving the iron all the time, making sure that I cover every single edge and every single piece of the paper. It's really important, especially when we print larger images, to make sure that we give heat to every single area of the image. So I've been ironing for about a minute, a minute and a half. You can see that the thermal indicators have started to go brown. I made sure that I've covered every single part of the image. No great rush. While it's hot, give it a stretch and peel it off. And there's the first stage of a transfer. Once we've printed the image, we recommend that you fix it. You can fix it by two methods. One of them is the silicone paper that we provide you in the pack. This is reusable, it's silicone, so nothing will stick to it. We place it directly onto the uh, exposed image and give it a quick 30 second, 20 second iron. Just to reheat the image and absorb some of the glossy film that's left on it. I'm putting quite a lot of pressure throughout the ironing and now just to push it, push the image as far into the fabric as we can. And we feel it hot. There's finished image, fully washable, ready to wear, ready to go. The other way of fixing the image, and particularly if you want a softer feel to the image, is using an ordinary piece of paper. This is ordinary printer paper, cheapest one you get, uncoated, nothing special. Again, straight on the exposed image and heat it back up. 
This will absorb also any glossy film that has been left on the image after, the, after you remove the transfer paper. It will take some of the excess ink that hasn't been absorbed off, so it won't go off in the washing machine, it will come off onto this paper. And the final result will be a very soft feel image on the shirt. You can see it stretches quite well with the shirt. This is because we've done the fixing. It doesn't crack. That is a t-shirt ready to go. Fully machine washable. Wait 24 hours before you stick it in the washing machine. And other than that, you don't need to do anything else to it.